What's up everybody? Welcome back to the Poke Rage channel. And this year has been a pretty eventful year, at least for me, in the Pokemon world. Uh, first off, we actually got the new Scarlet and Violet like Pokemon, Paldea, all of that shit. Um, secondly, we saw a huge jump in Japanese booster box popularity. I mean, you've seen the prices of some of these boxes when they first come out, well over $100, which is crazy. And third, we actually started this channel. It uh, started in January 3rd of 2023. And as of right now, we're over 1,200 subs, which is crazy. And I can't thank you guys enough for actually helping me get here because I never thought that would be over 1,000 subs anytime soon. So to get that within a year is really awesome. And I appreciate everyone's help get, getting me here and you know supporting the channel and doing whatever it takes to help me get there. So again, thank you. So with that being said, there's been a lot of sealed product and you know different types of products coming out this year, and it's hard to know which ones are the best to grab, which ones are the you know for future down the line if you want to sell them or if you want to you know open them up. It's you, you never know. It's always a gamble, but that's why I created this list um, to kind of give you my opinion as to what's going to be the best product of 2023. And this is a mix between English and Japanese products, so. Even if you can't get all of them, um, you know, there's still some chances that, you know, you'll find it in the wild somewhere. But anyway, come with me and let's go take a look. So my first product on the list is the heavy hitters box uh, from Sam's Club. Now, from what I remember, this was released in 2022 or towards the end of it. But then what happened was they remade it i guess um they added a little different extra packs um i know that there was three evolving skies packs in the first set and i think in this newer version there is about i think there's two evolving skies boxes um i could still find these at sam's club today um and they're like i said only go for about 40 dollars, which is really nice and you get 16 packs if you're ever to find these on sale, that would be insane because to get 16 packs or even less than 40 bucks is a huge deal, but that's number 10 on my list. Next on the list is a product that I'm surprised is still coming out. Um, I'll check CVS and Walgreens every now and then just to see you know, what new mystery boxes or what product is coming out. But I know before they would have like the Cosmic Eclipse packs and the double packs, but I, I can never find those. Those are just absolutely out of the question. But I am able to find the Evolving Skies and Chilling Rain Duo packs from CVS and Walgreens. Um, these retail for about $12.99, which is pretty good considering Evolving Skies is slowly creeping up and it's about $8.50 a pack now. And Chilling Rain is around, you know, $4 or $5, I think. I think it's that's starting to creep up as well. So to get these for $13 is, is, is pretty good. Um, and you also get a little pin to go along with it, which is pretty nice. So if you guys are ever to find these, uh, definitely grab them up. I got about 27 of these things or something in my closet just sitting there. So I'm afraid to open them. I don't know what's going to happen. Number eight on my list um, is going to be the shiny Zacian Zamazenta Crown Zenith Premium Collection boxes that came out. Uh, these were $60 when they first came out and they've kind of been steadying out around that price um, for 11 packs of Crown Zenith. Um, it's pretty good, I guess, but I think it's more so just better to keep sealed. I, I wouldn't open these. Uh, the best deal that we ever had with Crown Zenith was that Pikachu Black Friday uh, thing that came with seven packs for $25, which is amazing. But, you know, from the True Steel premium collections, Azashi and Zamazenta, those are going up uh, for around $70, I think now, or around that each-ish. It's like $60 to $70. So I'm pretty sure that these will go up uh, probably around the same price. So I would definitely find these and try to hold on to them and don't open them if you can. Plus, I hate Crown Zenith. Next on my list is the 151 Elite Trainer Boxes from Pokemon Center. Um, these, I mean, they kind of restocked them here and there, but right now they're going for around $80 on the second secondhand market, which, in all honesty, the longer time goes on, the more that these are going to go up. The Snorlax promo is $24 on its own. So, which is pretty good for just a promo card. That's just the Pokemon exclusive promo, not the regular ones that you can find at Walmart. Um, so, I, yeah, I would grab these before these go over $100 because I, I guarantee that this will happen within a year or two. 
Number six on my list is the Japanese Special Deck EX boxes that just came out uh, November 10th. Uh, they featured the Charizard, Venusaur, and Blastoise uh, decks in them. But really, which is great about these is I've seen them now for around $50, which is nice. Um, but the, what you really want from these are the Bulbasaur, Charmander, and Squirtle art rares that come in these things. Um, this is the first time that Charmander was actually featured because we got it over here in the English version. Um, and that was it. Japan didn't get that. So this is the first time that Charmander was featured for this art rare in the Japanese language, I guess. So, but to grab these, these are really awesome cards. And honestly, to keep this box sealed is pretty awesome as well. I think this could only go up as time goes on. Number five, um, you could almost argue with all of the Scarlet and Violet like subsets coming out this year that you could grab these but really my favorite from any of these is the paradox rift booster boxes right now i'm seeing these for ebay with around 90 dollars which is really awesome i mean 36 packs for 90 bucks is really good in the past we've seen chilling rain boxes they were going down for like 90 bucks now they're back up to 144 dollars so uh to me, Paradox Rift is my favorite set out of Scarlet and Violet so far, so I should definitely grab more of these while I still can because I don't want to wait, you know, a couple years down the road where they're back up to like $150, $160. Number four on my list is the Rulers of the Black Flame Japanese Booster Boxes. Um, this set has a uh, three, about three Charizards in it um, for all you Charizard fanboys out there. Uh, the top one is $196, whereas the gold one is $55. These are pretty cool looking cards, honestly, but the Japanese versions are the ones you want, not the ones from Obsidian Flames because those are really, really cheap or cheaper in my opinion. So Rulers of the Black Flame booster boxes, uh, they're going for around like $50, 50 to $60, which is pretty cheap in my eyes, especially for a booster box from Japan. I would grab a few of these if you can. Uh, Charizard is always a uh, best bet when it comes to long-term investing because it's just a staple in the Pokemon community and for him uh, to feature his own set, minus Darkness Ablaze, um, this would be really good to in case you want to sell down, down the line. The next booster box also comes from Japan and that is the Clay Burst Japanese booster boxes. These things, again, are around $100. But the one card you want to pull from this is the Iono SAR. That thing is worth $650. Wild to me. Um, who knew Iono was going to be such a popular thing? But then again, the waifu boys, they, they, uh, they set the market on that thing. So Claybirds for sure. If you want to do, um, you know, just have fun opening it really just to try to get that Iono. Because if you were to pull that Iono out of one box, and you're, you're set man that's it that's all you need my third and final japanese booster box is going to be the shiny treasure ex yes this just came out and since they just came out they are a really good deal um i i mean with these tiktok deals of getting them for like 50 to 60 dollars um so on average though um right now after the deals are done it's about like 75 dollars a box 70 dollars you can find the right person um with this set, you got the Charizard SAR, you got the Iono, which is around $450 to $500 card, which is wild. Um, so, and I mean, just the Gardevoir, the Mew, like all of the art rares, as, as hard as they are to pull, they are really nice to own. So, I mean, I would definitely stock up on these before Japanese prices go up. Um, I mean, they always tend to do that. V-Star Universe was down to $70 at one point. Now it's at $100 and $110. So because this is new, this is the best time to buy these Shiny Treasure EX boxes. And my number one choice from this year uh, in terms of value and what you get in it, I would say is the 151 Ultra Premium Collection. Uh, retail, these are around $120, but Right now, I think because there's so many made, you can find them for about $90 from secondhand sellers. Um, they got the cool Mewtwo and Mew promos as well as that gold Mew card in there. But you get 16 packs of 151 and you know there's a chance of a Demigod pack. Um, there's a lot of beautiful art rares from the original 151. So to pass up on this, I mean, I, I mean, we saw it with the Charizard UPCs. I think they're still pretty cheap, but 151, you can't go wrong just because it is the original set. So grab these for cheap while you can. 
All right, well, that's gonna be it for me. Uh, let me know down below what you guys think of the list. Uh, if there's other products you guys are thinking about keeping sealed or, you know, for long-term investments or what your favorite product was. It doesn't even have to be for investing. It could just be for opening. Um, but yeah, if you guys enjoyed, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe button. And I will catch you guys on the next one. See ya.